Hello there everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back once again to another video. Today I thought I'd do a quick little video on GIMP, so let's go ahead and launch up GIMP. Uh, I don't have GIMP, which is fantastic because I'm making a video about GIMP. Anyways, let's go ahead and install GIMP because I probably need that. GIMO equals P, why did I write that? And we are installing GIMP. Yay. Wait for that to install. Alrighty, now that we have that completed, let's go ahead and launch up GNU Image Manipulation Program. And uh, let's get started with the uh, tutorial. So by the title of this video, you guys can tell what it's already about. Um, so actually, quite recently, I was uh, manipulating an image in GNU Image Manipulation Program. And uh, I was a little bit confused because I have pretty much always used GIMP 2.8 regardless of how old that version is by now. Um, I am a big user of GIMP 2.8, so I'm still used to that program. So in GIMP 2.8, there was this program called iWarp that I liked to play with. In fact, there was a video I made on it uh, about four years ago now. Holy cow. Um, where I was literally just playing with Tux, the Linux Penguin, um, in iWarp, you know, manipulating his face, warping his face, making him look stupid and fat, fatter than he already looks, because <clears throat> he is quite fat. Um, so I thought, why not? I'll show you guys how you can operate iWarp in uh, GIMP 2.10. So this is actually like GIMP 2.10 some other suffix um but it is pretty much the same you guys will get the idea so for this tutorial we are going to launch up if i can ever type ever type while i'm recording a picture of let's do why not uh which one's funnier steve jobs or bill gates we'll do steve jobs i guess that's the one we're gonna pick save image as Save it to our pictures directory right there, and theoretically it should be right there. Yes, yes, it's right there. We'll go ahead and convert that, and here we are in GIMP 2.10 with our picture of Steve Jobs, the legendary Steve Jobs. Now, for this tutorial, uh, if you want to operate iWarp, um, the first thing you want to do is head up to the top bar right here. Um, go ahead and select tools and uh, let's see transform tools no anyways now that I know how to do it because I just died there for a second um, head over to the top bar like I said go ahead and select tools and hover over the little uh, selection that says transform tools and go down to where it says Warp Transform and go ahead and click on that. And now you should see your lovely little toolbox right here has something that looks very similar to what we saw in GIMP 2.8, which was iWarp. Now, uh, obviously, you guys can see it's actually called Warp Transform in this uh, uh, rendition of GIMP. But it is exactly the same with some slightly newer, different features, I guess I could say. So let's go ahead and why not? We'll go to Move Pixels, change the size, and show you guys for certain that it does work. So move Steve's eyes right there. You guys can see that is indeed working. He looks very happy now. Uh, grow area, why not? Give him a nice bigger nose. And let's go down to where it says, what should we do? Let's just go back to move and make him even happier. Like that. Yeah, why not? There we go, folks. Um, let's go ahead and swirl as well as change the size so we can swirl more of him. Let's make that a little bit better, bigger. We could change the hardness of that. There we go, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Look how happy he looks. Isn't that nice? Nice and lovely. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, you can use the erase warping function to erase the work you've done, which obviously it does make Mr. Jobs a little less fabulous, as you can tell. 
Um, smooth warping, what does this do? I've never used this feature. I'm guessing that is when like you move something, let's say like move his face like that. Wow, he looks very happy right now. I think, you. Uh, no, not erase, I apologize. Smooth will, yeah, it'll just sort of smooth it out a little bit. So it's kind of like erasing it, except erasing it just uh, kind of does it all together in a little bit harsher uh, manner, I guess I could say. Well, there you go, folks. Um, why not? Let's uh, go back to that. Go ahead and, what is it? Control Shift E. Actually, I think I can just do Control E. Yeah, Control E. And go ahead and export it like that. Export it. And there we go, folks. We have my new and improved wallpaper. Alrighty there, folks. Uh, that is how you get to uh, warp transform in GIMP 2.10. Thank you, thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.